That's Matthew. The next question. In what ways is God's power demonstrating in the healing and miracles of Jesus? So how is God's power demonstrating in the healing and the miracles of Jesus? Number one, restoring people back to health, liberates them from physical and psychological suffering. That's how it, the God's power was seen. When he restored people back to health, they were liberated, he liberated them from physical and psychological suffering. Or you can say in basic terms, by Jesus restoring people back to health, it liberated them from what? Suffering. He took away their suffering. Casting out demons. Casting out demons and raising people from dead. Shows that evil and the power of Satan has been overcome. Casting out demons and raising people from dead shows that evil and the power of Satan are overcome. Those who witness the, those who witness the miracles realize God's presence in Jesus. Those who witness the miracles realize God's presence in Jesus and accept him, him as the Savior. Those who witness the miracles of Jesus realize God's presence in him and accepted him as long-awaited Savior. The healing of non-Jews, the healing of non-Jews attests to the fact that God's saving grace is for all humanity. The healing of non-Jews attests to the fact that God's saving grace is for all humanity. The healing of non-Jews attests to the fact that God's saving grace is for all humanity. The healing gave hope to the sick. Gave hope to the sick. The healing was a demonstration of God's love for those who are oppressed by sickness. Demonstration of God's love for those who are oppressed by sickness. You just have to understand the question. You're being asked uh, to demonstrate the healing of, yes, go, how God's power is shown. Question 2C, identify ways through which the church continues healing ministry of Jesus Christ. This was a very easy question. How does the church continue with the healing? Yes, by praying for the sick. Yes, by visiting the sick. That's how you continue with the healing. Offering guidance and counseling to the sick. By taking care of the sick. You build building hospitals by building hospitals, by offering medical services to the sick, by providing financial assistance to the sick. So you pray for the sick, you visit them, you offer guidance and counseling to them, you take care of them, you build hospitals, you offer medical services, and you provide financial assistance. Question 3a. Describe the incident when Jesus, Jesus' true family came looking for him. Yes? So this is what happened. Jesus' mother and brothers came looking for him. So his mother and his what? Brothers, they came looking for him. They could not see him because of the crowd. They could not see him because of the crowd. When Jesus was told that they, they wanted to see him, he replied that his mother and brothers were those who hear the word of God and do what? And obey it. That's all. So you have to, to talk about uh, the mother and the brothers looking for him, and then you talk about uh, the crowd. 
that was there so they were not able to see him so uh, people told Jesus that uh, they wanted to see him but Jesus told them that his mother and brothers were those who hear the word of God and do it and obey it question 3b what is the New Testament teaching on prayer generally when you read the New Testament what are you taught about prayer it marks so we should have faith when praying this was KCSC 2004 we should have faith when praying we should ask God for help through prayers when faced with temptations so we should ask God for help when faced with what temptations that is through prayers we should pray for those who wrong us to be forgiven We should pray for those who wrong us to be forgiven and we should follow that point all of us we should make our requests known to God in prayers so you make our requests or you can say we, we ask for what our needs through prayers we should have confidence in God when praying have confidence in God when praying. Prayers should be addressed to God our Father. Prayers should be addressed to God our Father. Prayers should be prayed with humility. Prayers should be prayed with humility. And then God answers prayers. That's another teaching in the New Testament about prayer. God answers prayers. And then we should pray without ceasing. Last question. Outline the events that took place on the Mount of Olives before the arrest of Jesus. So what are the events that took place? Where are you supposed to start? Number one. We're supposed to start whereby Jesus told the disciples to pray. This was a question in the KCSC 2007. So you start where they were, they were praying. You start at the Mount of Olives. So Jesus told the disciples to pray. And then point number two, Jesus moved a distance away from the disciples. He moved a distance away from the disciples. Jesus knelt down and prayed. An angel from heaven strengthened him. An angel from heaven strengthened him. The disciples fell asleep. They fell asleep. Jesus awoke the disciples. So after awoking the disciples, there came a crowd led by Judas, one of his twelve disciples. You just say there came a crowd led by Judas Iscariot. Judas won wanted to kiss Jesus. One of the disciples struck off a slave's ear. Judas wanted to kiss Jesus. One of the disciples struck off a slave's ear. Jesus held the man's ear. And then Jesus asked the religious leaders what they had come to arrest him. Why they had come to arrest him as if he was what? A criminal. That is the end.